Semper Vivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Hey! If you want to go to the Q&A September 5th in Chicago with myself and Dave, tickets are on sale now. The address, f4wchicago.brownpapertickets.com. That is f4wchicago.brownpapertickets.com. Get your tickets now. Live Q&A. Dave Meltzer and Brian Alvarez during All Out Weekend in Chicago. There are a bunch of options, including option one VIP plus, where it looks like you get a ticket to the show as well. And you get a meet and greet with Dave at the Hyatt Place. I see I'm not mentioned. I think I'm going to be there. I don't even know. Q&A with me and Dave. I know I will be there because my name is mentioned. And uh, there's All Out and a bunch of other options as well. So if you're interested in either getting a ticket for the Q&A or one of these combo packages, then if you go to my Twitter at Brian Alvarez, the link is up there. But once again, at 4 Chicago dot brown paper tickets dot com let's sell this out in a day everybody he opened up with the south beach strap match cody defeated qt marshall cody made a great comeback but uh prior to that the fans were just kind of watching the match because everyone will go to an aw show and they're expecting all of this craziness high spots and excitement at a strap match there's a lot of standing and whipping but they did get into the comeback, and they went crazy when Cody went to hit the four turnbuckles. They counted along very loudly, so it worked in the end. We had a hangman. Uh, well, it was Kenny Omega and Don Callis to, to start off, and Callis is just cutting this fantastic promo. And once again, Evil Uno comes out, and uh, they're very much building up this uh, hangman page versus Kenny Omega championship match for down the road. And I'm pretty sure that they did this angle because tickets were going on sale for All Out, and uh, for those of you that heard the show with Dave last night, uh, it's pretty much all sold out already uh, via pre-sale, so that answers that question, and that'll be, I presume, the main event of the show. We had a Darby Ethan Page interview, hype it up there, coffin match next week, that was very good. We had Pinnacle versus Inner Circle, which the Pinnacle won, when Hager got hit with the big rig after Tully interfered. And then uh, Wardlow pinned Hager. So this match must continue. They're giving everybody wins here. We had the Jericho-MJF standoff. And basically, MJF is going to have four wrestlers that Chris Jericho has to go through with four different stipulations. And if he does this without losing any of the matches, then he can face MJF, which also sounds like the timing puts it at all out. And Jericho agreed, so he will be going, running this gauntlet, this mythological gauntlet, uh, to head up to All Out. We had a Britt Baker promo where uh, she mentioned blood money in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Are people mad about that one now? What next? We had Andrade and Matt Seidel, which was fine, but the man who shined was not Andrade, it was Matt Seidel. He looked fantastic in this match, but he lost, and Andrade got the win, and uh, we can talk about that more later. Yeah. Malachi Black, the former Alistair Black, debuted. Massive reaction. People saw him as a megastar. It was very nice of WWE to do weeks and weeks and weeks of vignettes to set up for his AEW debut. That was nice <laughs> of them. Orange Cassidy, Chris Statlander versus the Bunny and the Blade. Uh, the finish was great. The match itself, it was mostly the women. And it's no disrespect to the women, but you could hear that the crowd just wanted to see Orange Cassidy. And he did like two spots and then tagged out. And they were just waiting, 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 waiting. And then finally got back th in there at the end. And uh, Statlander pinned Bunny. And as noted, that it was a very good finish. The Dan Lambert segment was great. And then the Young Bucks versus Eddie Kingston and Penta was just a crazy, wild... Uh, I mean, there was a Canadian destroyer off the apron through a table with Penta and Matt Jackson. By the way, if you heard the show last night, everybody's fine. Uh, they're banged up a little bit, but they're fine. And Good Brothers got involved, and Kazarian got involved, and then finally there were the tacks in the mouth of Eddie Kingston. Super kick, one, two, three, Young Bucks retained the titles. And uh, very fun show. Very fun show. It was nice to see everybody back on the road. And, uh... There you go.
not the best start for Andrade. And I was willing to overlook the how they debuted him with Vicky that seemed to kind of be cold and out of nowhere on that Friday night. But it's like, okay, no problem. And then he comes out there, gets interrupted when he's got this big announcement. But if you looked at it, it was like, okay, obviously his first opponent's going to be Matt Seidel. And you know what? Even though this is a little awkward, the match they have is probably going to be great. And it wasn't great. And unfortunately for Andrade, but not for Matt Seidel, Seidel did outshine him. I don't know what it was with Andrade last night. I don't know. I just don't know what it was. But he was not in the gear he needed to be to shine last night. And he got nowhere to go but up at least. Back in a moment, Observer Live. I have listened to this noise like 300 times in a row, dying laughing. And I may go do that after the show is over. Because this noise that Seth Rollins played sounded exactly like the mummy's voice that they recreated on National Geographic. Scientists were able to mimic Nessie Amun's voice by recreating his mouth and vocal cords with a 3D printer. It allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what? It allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! <laughs> I don't know if I can do it one more time. <laughs> It allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! <laughs> the top comment on YouTube, I love when she says, ah! <laughs> if you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.